family, man. Yo, today was a very, very good day, man. I had a very good day today, man. Today I had 15, no, I had 16 stops. I believe 670 today, man. Um, yo, Cheney Brothers is in trouble, man, because I'm, I got my tempo back. I am a first, I'm, a, I'm officially back where I need to be as far as uh, speed and tempo. Um, so I'm very happy with myself, my body, my sneakers, my te you know, which is my Timberland Pros, um, and, and just pretty much how I'm moving and how I'm getting along with the scanner and and, and, and things like that. And, and, and learning the cases because at Cheney, the cases are different and how they and how they stack the trailer is a little bit different but um i'm learning very quickly right but enough being said man yo if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button man it'll be very very appreciated to my new subscribers welcome to my channel it's all love it's all love and positive positive vibes man so that's how we rocking with that um Point blank period, man. You got to be a pit bull, a vicious, vicious pit bull to do this type of work, man. You got to have some real balls, man, to do, to be a food service driver. What, you know, what do you mean, Wise? Because we deal with so many different situations, man. So many different situations, man. We got to figure out how we're going to get to this stop. Okay, we get to this stop. How are we going to be able to put that trailer and park it near the kitchen where it needs to be because, you know, we're dealing with that obstacle. That car is in the way. You know what I'm saying? This guy says, oh, I can't park here. You know, the sign says no parking, tow violation. But you see, you see Cisco, you see Gordon Food, you see all these guys parking there. But all of a sudden you get caught, you can't park there. So you got to park 20, 30 yards down, further down to the actual kitchen, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some real, real balls out here to be a food server driver because every day we deal with different, different obstacles. It's an adventure every single day. I promise you, I'm living proof. That's why I'm dropping this video because somebody has to hear this, man. It's not all bread and butter. You know what I'm saying? It's not cake. You know what I'm saying? It's not sweet out here, man. This job is a very physical job. And you know what I'm saying? Myself, I do this on a daily, daily basis, man. You know what I'm saying? Every day, five days a week. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, you gotta have some serious balls out here because you're gonna deal with those customers, man. You gotta have patience. You know what I'm saying? You guys kind of tell me how my, how my personality is. You know what I'm saying? I can deal with the the the, the, the disruption, the, the, the attitude, but you know, I've had a few customers on my route that I've kind of molded them, that I've kind of groomed them. You get what I'm saying? And to, and to rather liking me and, and, and liking me for who I am. And, um, you know, hey, you know, in a little, in, in, in a nick of time, I have no problems with my route. You know what I'm saying? No problems with my customers. No problems going to those stops that I'm not familiar with because of my personality and I'm so genuine um, everything seems to click. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, but you will deal with different obstacles. You will have that customer that's just, I just rude for no reason. You know, you might have that old grumpy grandpa that owns the whole building. You know what I'm saying? And he, ha you know, you happen to be delivering to his particular store and you have to give him the invoice, the paperwork to him. And he just has a nasty attitude. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to deal with it some way or another. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you got to have some real balls. You got to, you know, you got to be patient in this game, man. And you have to take your time, especially if you're a new food service or a CDL holder, man. Just got your license. You, know, you have to take your time out here, man. Because uh, you want to protect that CDL license. You know what I'm saying? But it is your boy, a wise man. This, this was kind of in my mind. One of my good, good friends who I just met. Um, you know, at my drop yard, kind of gave me an idea, and um, I spoke on it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna drop a video about it. You know what I'm saying? No cap. So, yo, you gotta have some real serious balls to be a food service driver because why? We deal with so many obstacles, so many different situations, attitudes, 
don't know where to park, can't find the, you know, can't find the address to, to this particular restaurant, to this school. They want it at the back door, but they want it at the front door. Or or they want you to, oh, can you put the flower over there? You know what I'm saying? Could you put the tomato over there? Oh no, tomatoes goes over here, lettuce goes over there. Like what? Three different coolers. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of throws you off, especially if you haven't been there before. So my advice to you guys as well, and I'm just rambling, kind of put everything in one video because I want to keep it short and sweet as possible. Try not to say, hey, um, yeah, man, I just started, you know, I just started with uh, such and such. This is my first time, you know what I'm saying, doing this type of work. Or how can I say it? Pretty much don't let them know that this is your first time here. Just be like, this is my first time at this particular stop. But um, I've been doing this type of work because once you say those exact words, you know what I'm saying? You're in hot water. Now they want to see what they can do, what you can do for them. Can you put the flour over there? Can you put the cooking oil over there? You know what I'm saying? Can you put the, the, the paper goods over there? All of a sudden, you got three different coolers. They want you to put the chicken in there, the meat in there, the cheese in there, the milk goes in there. I might sound like I'm exaggerating, but I've dealt with that. So some of you guys, you food service drivers out there, I would love, love for you to comment, even comment like certain situations that you've even dealt with. Because I know I'm not just speaking for myself, man. Every day, it's an adventure. Every day we different we deal with different obstacles. Every day is a challenging day and we have to make the best of it. And I do this on the daily basis. Five five days a week, man. You know what I'm saying? So once again, you have to have some serious, serious balls out here. Patience to be a food server driver. So are you ready? Can you deal with it? Yo, it's your boy Owas, man. Like this video, share it out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, peace and love, man. Stay humble. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. We out of here. Peace.